there, Vault Hunter. I'm nearby. Find me. Welcome to my humble shop. <laughs> Sweet. Love is in the air. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably not an omen or anything. Over here, <laughs> sweetness. <laughs> Ellie and I have waged war on the Zafford and Hodunk bandit clans for years now, but it's time for peace. Let's go talk to the preacher I hired. Where is he? Oh, there he is. What a rough landing. Thankfully, I like it rough. Tell him my plan, innuendo bot. Two star-crossed lovers, one from each clan, wish to be married. We will ensure their pairing and bring peace to both clans. My hat looks like a penis. Uh, noted. Anyway, Walter, the lovers are nearby. Follow me. I need you to protect the bride and groom so this wedding goes off without a hitch. If we do this right, we'll end the clan war for good. Hey, Moxie! I heard you're trying to get the clan. You're making a mistake. If the clans unite, they'll just get even more powerful and take us all out. You gotta kill them. Violence won't solve this, L. We tried your explosive climax, but now it's time for my gentler touch. Oh, the storm stopped. How about that? Maybe love really is in the air. Good luck. a difference. Besides, we both hate that stupid baby and you know it. Anyway, you keep up like this, I'll start giving you the silent treatment. Oh, no. Woe is me. I don't get to hear the soothing sound of your shrill-ass accent. Why don't you just go get ate by a thresher, huh? Huh? Answer me. Oh, you're doing the silent thing. Great. Well, Two can play that game! Piss off, chump. I hate vault hunters, but I'm conserving my energy to knock the tar out of Colin! Oh, great. I guess there's trouble in paradise, but we still need him to get married if the clans are gonna end the war. You can always just kill him! Thankfully, I know an old love potion recipe. We'll need something new, something old, something borrowed, and something gold. Ooh, I just found something that'll take care of half of them ingredients. Vault Hunter, head to these coordinates. Booyah! Shut up, Bridget. If you love me as much as you love clapping that jaw, we'd be turbo Is that a baby? All right, real talk. 
Babies are new, right? And he's not yours. So if you take him for a little while, he's borrowed. Huh? Huh? You're suggesting we throw a stolen baby into a potion. What? No, we ain't gonna hurt him. Just kidnap him. like the distillery shut up tighter than an abstinence advocate at an orgy. But one of those poor slave bots got locked out too. Maybe talk to him? Woe is me. My beloved girlfriend bot slaves away inside the distillery, and I cannot save her due to my pre-programmed self-esteem issues. That loader should be strong enough to bust open the doors. Why don't you give him some words of encouragement? I know almost nothing about romance, so please pretend I just said something really inspiring about the power of love. You know what? You're right. Let's go save my girlfriend. Engaging chivalry protocols. What? Yeah.
blonde hair anywhere. That's a lot of whiskey. You've got to find the high quality old stuff. You'd better put your lips around a few until you find the right barrel. Ugh. That was not for me. Oh, that didn't sound good. Let's try another. Bit better, but not great. If you can still see straight, you haven't found the good stuff. Keep sipping. <laughs> that felt good. Mmm, that's the stuff. Grab some of that whiskey and we'll get to the next ingredient. All right, we've got new, old, and borrowed. You'll need to find some gold. There's got to be some around here. The Zaffords are as greedy as they come. Huh, dead end. You'll have to find a way through. Allow me, Vault Hunter. If the least I can do to repay you. There, your nearest stash of gold coins. Grab a few and we'll have everything we need for the potion.
Interesting. something old. mixing as we speak. Hey, with all this talk of marriage, I'm curious. Was there ever a Mr. or Mrs. Vault Hunter in your life? There was once an older man. He's dead now, of course. That's looking lovely. Now, just turn on the machinery to distill it. is done. Grab it. Alright, better deliver that silly ass potion and do the dumb marriage. And give the baby back. Yeah, whatever. Do the thing.
<laughs> Thank you. We've moved the wedding into the fresh air. Just put the potion in the punch bowl and we'll get started. Right, and groom quiver with anticipation. Um, dearly beloved, we are gathered here to screw all of ya. You matchmaking scrubs can all go right to hell, especially that traitorous dumbass bag of boobs, Moxie. Son of a. No, we're here for peace. Just put the potion into the ceremonial punch bowl. I ain't gonna drink that! Of course you wouldn't, you coward! The hell I am! Ha! Who's yelling now? I ain't letting no whole dunk princess out drink me! Hell no! Uh, oh, oh. Say, you look pretty good all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm all. Lustered. <laughs> oh, we can't kiss with these helmets on. Yeah, let's take them off. Love ain't no fun with protection. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Start acting like good guys plan in the foot. Told you the recipe called for something blue. You killed the newlyweds! You monsters! You're bleeding right. From here on out, the Zaffir clan declares a blood war on Moxie and the Fox Hunters. And the whole dumpster with you! Oh, hey, I guess we did sort of unite the clans, even if it's just so they can kill us. I, uh, I'll call that a win. Remember that time we stole a baby? Vault Hunter, come back whenever. Trying really hard to find a moral to the story other than violence is good, but uh, it's not. It's, it's not coming. I love you. Sexy things are overrated. It is time for love. You will collect romantic gifts while I put words of romance into an echo recorder. First, fetch me a cigar. The Hodunk bridesmaids may have some.
Fear me, bitches! Burn plants don't grow out here. I'm marginally sure this is just rolled up human flesh dipped in gasoline. My old self would have been a phallic in the window when you grabbed the cigar. But my lovelorn heart knows only sorrow. Now collect a blonde wig. You may find one in the Zabbard distillery. Junkbot, Stella, could I borrow that wig? Oh, I'm sorry, but this wig is wired into my friend or foe subroutine. If I were to remove it, I'd go insane and probably die. Um, I still need it for this quest, though. But it's just a side quest, right? You could just, like, not finish it. It's not worth ha, 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 killing my girlfriend and I, is it? I mean, you'll still have the quest hanging around in your log, but that's not such a big deal, right? I'm a completionist! Oh, Sorry! Everything! off the echo net. They may have scrambled his AI. Wow! 
I really hope he's just using this for maintenance. in the mood for love give a romance bundle to some prospective soulmates first hodunk comma lila and i will neg the first subject prepare yourself for a compliment forward slash insult the world has never seen <laughs> Drowning, burn victim. Wear this wig and love me forever. Um, no. Acknowledged. Take the second Valentine to Zafford, comma, Nathaniel Lim, and we will woo him with pure bluntness. Hunter, go kill in you, Endobot. But why? I thought love was like a shield bar to be whittled down by the bullets of persistence. No, that's called stalking. I am 
sorry. I know now that love cannot be forced. Complete your mission and end my heartbroken existence, Vault Hunter. Oh, maybe leave him alone. Sounds like he's learned his lesson. Famedsadness.exe. Successful. Never mind. Waste him. I want my bullets inside you. You will be spent when this fight is finished. Repeat my name. Repeat my name. Well, that's that. I'll chunk his AI core and reprogram it from scratch. Come on back, Vault Hunter. That's the last time I let him watch romantic comedies. Ugh. Oh.